Good morning and welcome back to your Fielded Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, last week we saw a Memorial Day remembered all around the world, a day which marks a dark part of our world history, but through us not forgetting, we are enabling future generations to learn from our past. Take a look. The Cape Town Holocaust Centre recently opened a new exhibition focusing on the responses of post-war Germans to the atrocities committed during World War II. This international exhibition received a big response in South Africa, opening on a significant date. 27th of January was in fact the uh, liberation of the camp of Auschwitz in uh, Poland in 1945, January 1945. So that then becomes the anniversary which the United Nations chooses to use as its day of commemoration of the victims of the Holocaust. The exhibition seeks to engage society in issues present today and it's hoped it will stimulate reflection, conversation and action needed for healing. So this exhibition uh, is really a series of panels which deal with the different aspects of this confrontation in sort of almost historical way. This story is universal that we can all come to the exhibition and see links to our own pasts as well. So it's not just about Germany. For survivors, this is a tribute and an act of memorialization. Attending the opening were many survivors who remember the horror vividly. While I was a prisoner in the concentration camp Majdanek, it was the middle of the night when we were surrounded by Germans with barking dogs on leashes and we were forced into a bathhouse, in reality into a guest chamber. When the heavy doors shut behind us, we realized that the poisonous gas would come down any moment on us. And I was holding my niece's hand and I was whispering, don't be afraid. It won't even hurt, and I don't think it will take long. We will soon join our loved ones. At this very moment, the heavy doors opened, and an assessment walked in shouting, Quiet! You are not going to be guest. It was unbelievable, because they got an order to guess 500 Jewish women and not 700, as our transport was 700. And when we were chased out, we saw a contingent of women getting off the kettle trucks, and they were led straight into the guest chamber that we had just left. These scenes will remain forever in my memory, and I'll never be able to erase them for the rest of my life. The exhibition isn't just for those interested in the history of World War II and its war crimes. It speaks to all of us about hatred, suffering and forgiveness. So now you've looked at this and you've heard this expression never again, but what does it actually mean? We can learn from the past as history is still relevant in Africa where prosecution is happening. What we're seeing around the world is these outbreaks of ethnic conflict and tensions and racism. We have to look into the future and see what we can learn from the past because this is the only way to deal with these terrible events. The exhibition runs until March and it's worthwhile to take time to reflect and learn from one of the darkest times in history. There is some goodness in humanity. We are all capable of evil, but we are also capable of good.